Oh god, I love... I'd love to what on a jizz on a show. Yeah, I guess so. Why are we why are we censoring this stuff now? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what could possibly fit in there. That would be bad. Mm-hmm. That is worse than anything we've seen already. I would love to ejaculate all of my semen. <laughs> Can I displace my seed on you, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a great dress. You know what? If you were in that, I'd just like to. Be like a Jackson Pollock. (laughs) (laughs) We could make amazing art together. Mm -hmm. Uh, There was a a Metallica album cover that was made by Jackson Pollock where he uh, mixed his semen with cow's blood. Really? And pressed it between two panes panes of glass and that made the cover art. (laughs) Really? I'm pretty sure. Jeez, what the heck? I'm just remembering a fake fact. Let me look that up real quick. I didn't realize Jackson Pollock was that insane. Indeed. I thought he was just a meme lord making a bunch of money out of her paint splats. <laughs> it's, uh, the album's called Load, by the way, just in case you were curious about that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's like a true serial, serial killer thing to do. Indeed. <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised if Jackson Pollock was a serial killer. Hmm. I'm not sure. Artwork. The cover of, of Load is an original artwork entitled Semen and Blood 3. <laughs> <laughs> it is one of three <laughs> photographic studies that Andres Serrano created in 1990 by mingling bovine blood and his own semen between two sheets of plexiglass. So was it Jackson Pollock? No, it wasn't, it wasn't Pollock. But, <laughs> okay. uh, I was right about the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so demented. Okay. But, uh, here, here's the album cover. Oh, why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I would have... That, if that was true, that would have kind of been surprising, because I feel like I would have heard that, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like one of those things where it's like, <clears throat> Oh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, but did you hear the colonel actually was a slave master? A sl- or whatever. People just say, like, the random stuff. Oh, George Washington, he... He did some stuff, but he also, you know, had a bunch of slaves and rotten and mm-hmm. wooden he teeth. And then, uh, so the next album after Load is Reload. That's the album cover right there. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, the art, album artwork displays a photo by the same guy, Andre Serrano, titled Piss and Blood <laughs> XXV, I suppose, at 26. Piss and Blood 26. The original idea was to release Load and Reload as a double album, however, with problems recording, blah, 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 I don't care. So yeah, um, there are two Metallica album covers that have blood, semen, and piss on them. <laughs> Jeez. That is, uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're gonna do something like that. In this I, video game, I mean. Um, mm, I hope actually I would not want to see that. No, I don't either. <laughs> By anyone in any context. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's quite nice. I don't know. Uh, Either A or B, because it, it might be time to start, like, going after her more, you know? Yeah. But I don't know for sure. Yeah. So this one, you're kind of friend zoning her. And making her make the move, which might be what we Yeah, we maybe want. maybe that is right. Let's go for it. Why not? Well, yeah, if you were wearing a tight dress like that, I'd probably want to make a move on you. So I guess it's I guess it's oh. nice. Yeah, I mean, like a friend. So if I wasn't mm-hmm. like if I was <laughs> your friend, no, if I wasn't your friend. <laughs> I don't think this is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> for a girl. Well, yeah. it's not our fault. He screwed the line read. I mean, basically, it's a nice dress. <laughs> Oops, nearly got in trouble there, but just got away with it. And, you know, it's not, it's not worth being verbally sexual before you've kissed a girl. It really, in most cases, it fails. Uh, Tell me about that girl that you said you liked and oh. you had a couple of dates. Oh, Rebecca, yeah. Well, we had a nice date. Okay. Um, but then um, I kind of texted her like, hey, how are you? Let's meet again soon, go for a drink or something. And uh, she didn't reply, but 
I don't know, maybe he got ghosted. Died. Maybe she died. <laughs> Did he say, oh, maybe she's Hispanic? <laughs> uh, she said, maybe she's in hospice. Oh, okay. You don't have social skills? How dare you? I'm offended. I, I identify as having social skills. I think Mark sucks. I don't think A is the right answer. I, I think D might be the right answer, actually. Or are we going to Dennis her? C, demonstrate your value. Ah. Uh -huh. Can we engage physically? Do you think A is lukewarm? Because I kind of want to tickle her, but... I don't know. That might not go over too well. It might be bad? I don't know. Man, it's... It's it's a social experiment, man. I, don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what the right answer is. We're going to demonstrate our value, engage physically, nurture dependence, neglect emotionally, inspire hope, separate entirely. Yeah, I doubt it's D. Because he's going to probably say, like, no one wants to have sex with Mark Zuckerberg or something <laughs> like that. Indeed. Even though that's untrue. We all want the Zuck. Give me the Zuck. <laughs> Asking for advice to be less awkward seems kind of lame. Yeah. So. And awkward, too. So that kind of defeats the purpose of being less awkward. Yeah, <laughs> that is also true. So I feel like. Demonstrate your value. Yeah. But well, I want to tickle her. I want to see him tickle her, okay, is, go for is it. the point of it. <laughs> awkward? <laughs> Let me tell you something about that. What? What's that? He's awkward. <laughs> the cringe. <laughs> Austin just like cringe out of his chair almost. Oh my goodness. Someone's so awkward. That was the most. Ooh. <laughs> that... be half... oh, what? <laughs> I could barely t stomach that. <laughs> So you need to be cringe in order to get women, obviously. <laughs> they should be fine with it, but it allows you to get a little bit intimate. So tell me, have you got anything nice to look forward to? Any plans coming? Of course. Oh, I love it. Mother Russia. She is Russian. Aha, I knew it. I figured it was Russia. I figured it was either Russia or Georgia. Georgia, that place that's next to Russia, not the state Georgia. Yeah, not the down south. That'd be funny if Russia owned Georgia, though. Our Georgia. That would be interesting. I was going to say something about, like, you mean, like, they did in the Soviet Union, but then you clarified that you meant our Georgia, not the country Georgia. Yeah, that's... We can't joke about them owning places in your in Europe, because you never know. <laughs> Give Putin an inch and he'll take over all Europe. <laughs> give Putin an inch and he'll give you an inch. What's that? <laughs> useless. I have to do it. It's only because it's my. Do we call her tradition. useless? Mm -hmm. Basically. You can't even get drunk. You're yeah. not nervous or something? No, of course no? not, but just for tradition. Oh, okay. Tradition? <laughs> huh. That was kind of weird. Indeed. <laughs> Play fight then kiss. That might be right. Like, you, don't, you don't ask a girl to kiss. You know. You know. I know it's it's current year and all, but and you need to have signed permission before you kiss a girl. However, that's not how it actually works. <laughs> do people do that? Cringy people, I guess. <laughs> I the just... soy boy beta cucks are like, I'm a feminist. Actually, they wear t-shirts that say this is what a feminist looks like. I need your permission before I can give you a kiss. Is it alright if I kiss you? Please sign this sheet here. Because <laughs> I feel like you, if you've been dating a girl... May I get the crumb? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you're going to phrase like that, it's always worth trying. <laughs> Maybe I should put that in my dating profile and I get a crumb of I rescind anything I was about to say. <laughs> always ask first. <laughs> Maybe we crumb a pussy. Maybe we crumb a pussy. Those are my favorite memes. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... Granted, kissing is one of the gray areas, because especially hip, young, modern fellows and fellas out there... F fellows and fellas? <laughs> yes, whatever the girls are. L lasses. Dude, dudes and dudettes? <laughs> yeah. Like, kissing, I feel like, is a, a usually something they aim for on the first date. Yeah. But that might be too soon for the girl. 
So I could see maybe having to ask. But I feel like you could also just read the situation. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point of social, <laughs> then, social cues here. And then if, you, if she's like, no, then you could be like, oh, sorry, I, just, I misread the situation. Yeah, and you right. Can, it's, it's not a huge It might be deal. awkward, but you can mm-hmm. play it off, and it could be a, a meet-cute <clears throat> Ro- romantic cam- comedy get music. Some meat cubes, dude. <laughs> meat cube moment. <laughs> and then, of course, if you're dating for a while and you're in a, or in a sexual encounter, it's like, may I have to please touch your butt? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you gotta ask before each phase. Yeah, it's, it's literally like like that, that episode of South Park a couple seasons ago where they they were had, had all dude bros in college who were like. The, the, in the morning when they all woke up from their conquest the previous night, they were like, you guys got your uh, signed permission sheets? Were... <laughs> so they all, they all like gave their the, their dorm master their, all their signed consent forms and everything because they, they all had women sign their consent forms before they could have sex with them. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has their own situations and be smart and who the heck am I to say? <laughs> I've dated once, so... <laughs> I am no expert, clearly. Indeed. I haven't gotten in the... I've only gotten Average Joe on our uh, adventures. Granted, a lot of that's due to us trying to get the bad answers and accidentally not getting the bad answers. Yeah, indeed. All right, here, here we got some, some video of some wild climate change protesters. What is happening? I have no idea, and I love it. That's like, that literally reminds you of the Joker when he did that weird thing <laughs> yeah. in the bathroom after he killed those people. Mm-hmm. It's like, either they're mentally unstable, or like, they're having a spiritual experience, like speaking in tongues and stuff. Indeed. <laughs> did you see the video of that guy speaking in tongues at his church, but he's just like on his cell phone? <laughs> so he's just on his cell phone, he's like, he's like, I've... Come to me, Lord. Come to me, Lord. And he's like, <laughs> and, and then he's like, starts speaking in tongues, uh-huh. and and then he gets on it. Well, I guess the better way to explain is like he's on his tongue. He's like, oh, so you be need it. That's all now, folks. And then he's like doing the tongues, and then he gets on his phone, and he's just scrolling on his phone, and his tongues degrades, and just being like, <laughs> he's like so not trying. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> it's, excellent. That's hilarious. <laughs> Let's see if I can find another <clears throat> another video of the climate change protesters. Because there are some, some other really weird ones out there. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, an interesting, mm-hmm. interesting little future. <laughs> so, like, what's the point of that, too? I mean, it, it, it's obviously not going to achieve anything. First of all, none of these climate tr- protests are going to achieve anything because, you know, many people have jobs anyway, so what are you going to do? But yeah, I feel like it, it just... It kind of hurts their their point, because not only does it make them look insane, but at the very least, it doesn't add anything. Mm-hmm. Like, you look at the women's marches, and there's a, a bunch of girls with their tops off, and they're smearing period blood all over the place, and have pussy hats on, and mm-hmm. it's like, that didn't add anything to your point, and it made a lot of people think you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? <laughs> For climate change protesters. The devil. <laughs> this is scary. It's, it's literally like a cult. <laughs> that looks like the Gwyneth Paltrow like things that they're doing. <laughs> Indeed, they're doing some spiritual healing exercises or something. Is that what it's supposed to be? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just. This is <laughs> this is unfathomable. <laughs> they're so serious. <laughs> I know. And well, they're like prepared, and mm-hmm. they're it's, doing it all like, in sync. Yeah, it's all choreographed. But and it's stuff. so strange. Indeed. <laughs> and it, I don't, I just, I don't know what it's supposed to do. <laughs> well, that is. Uh... This music was added, added in post, obviously, but uh, still, <laughs> it's a. Uh... Ah, oh, does like beautiful, looks like beautiful Charlie Brown dancing. Indeed. Is that guy? What is that guy doing? Is he is he uh, <laughs> conducting them? Apparently. Or is that just the beginning? It's like a disease, and it gets in your hand, and then slowly <laughs> spreads to the rest of your body. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, that literally just does look like Charlie Brown dancing. Indeed. If not slightly more askew. Yeah. <laughs>
Just your average white liberals dancing in the street because they have nothing better to do with their lives. <laughs> it looks like they're happy. <laughs> yes! Climate change is happening. You're all going to die, allegedly. <laughs> oh, man. The world is a wacky place. I see. Indeed, it is very wacky. <laughs> so now that we spent like 10 minutes talking about stuff, what's the right answer here?